Hi and welcome, my name is Lawrence Baker and this video is going to be about creating a cast shadow quickly using Photoshop. I'm going to use type because you need an object on its own layer isolated. So type is always isolated on its own layer. So let's get going. Click down, type text. Options bar, press the tick symbol to commit it. Move tool here, move it across and then I'm going to align it horizontally with my artboard, clicking here. Now I'm not going to come up to the layer menu at all. I'm going to do everything in the layers panel. So window, layers, make sure you've got it showing or press F7 on your keyboard. Double clicking on anything but the name here will bring up the layer style dialog box. We need to create a drop shadow. So click on drop shadow, make sure it's highlighted as well as ticked. I'm going to reset to default to start off from the point you're probably starting off from. So now I'm going to come into the document window. Notice my cursor has below it the move icon. I can move it around like so, changing the angle and the distance. I am not bothered about the angle and distance. I'm concerned with the opacity, spread and size. I think it's far too opaque. So I'm going to bring it down and make it less opaque. I'm going to keep the spread at zero. I'm going to keep the size at seven. So that should do it. OK. Now we need to get this drop shadow onto its own layer. Right click on FX. Go down to create layer. Some aspects of the effects cannot be reproduced with layers. OK. And then we now have a drop shadow on its own layer. It's no longer a layer style. It's got the blend mode of multiply and a fill opacity of 15%. We need to transform it into a cast shadow. And the key word is transform. Edit, transform, perspective. You can use other types of transform, but perspective is easier for me in this instance. So don't feel constrained to using perspective. You could use free transform and press the command control key and skew it off to the right or left, etc. But I'm going to drag it down now, line it up. That'll do me. Take any bottom corner and drag it out like so. I'm going to keep it within the bounds of the document window. Press the tick symbol, command zero to fit back on screen. Now that doesn't look that bad, but I want to feather it off as we get farther away from the text there. So I could put a layer mask on and use the gradient tool, but I'm going to use another layer style. Double click on the layer here, but not on the name, come to gradient overlay. I'm going to reset to default. Now notice how it's being applied to the whole layer. Up to blending options, down to advanced blending, click on transparency shapes layer. So it's only being applied to the non-transparent areas of the layer, but we need to be on black white. So double click here and go to the third one there, which is black white. Go OK, reverse it and untick align with layer. Now it's far too strong, so I'm going to bring down the opacity somewhat to about there. And also make sure the style is linear. If you reset your uh, gradient overlay, it will be on linear anyway. So 90 degrees is fine. I'm just going to drag around here in the windows. Notice how I can move the gradient overlay around, making it darker and lighter. So I'm going to bring that opacity down a little bit more. Also under blending options, I can bring the fill opacity down as well to help it along. That will have more effects because we're only dealing with the gradient overlay when we're playing around with the opacity here. So I'm going to drag it around a little bit more, make sure it's a bit darker there. That'll do me. Now, command zero, it's not that bad, but I probably would put a Gaussian blur on it. Filter, blur, Gaussian blur roughly around four pixels for this, probably a bit lower actually. So that's it guys. I didn't mess around too much. So it shows you how quickly you can create a cast shadow using a drop shadow. Don't feel constrained to using perspective. There are other ways of transforming the shadow. That's it guys. Thanks very much.